you're live. Hello everybody and welcome to today's story time. I hope you've all had a lovely day and I hope you're ready for another story time. Today's story is called Dinosaur Roar. Now this isn't the story that I was going to read. This is one that Mrs Stockdale brought in today and it's one that she used to read to her children when they were little and we shared it in class today and we loved it. So we thought it would be a nice one to do this evening. Now it's not really a story as such, it's more, um, it's got some lovely illustrations, so some lovely pictures, and it's about opposite dinosaurs, and we had lots of fun today acting out the different dinosaurs, so it would be wonderful if you could join in at home with us as we read through. So, Dinosaur Roar. We've got gorgeous illustrations on that first opening page. Look at all those fabulous dinosaurs. Dinosaur roar. roar. Dinosaur squeak. Roar. Let's hear you roar like our roaring dinosaur and our squeak from our little dinosaur. Oh, and he's dropped the thing in his hand because the other dinosaur's roar must have made him jump. What's in his hand? Oh, it's a piece of fruit. Looks like a little blueberry. Dinosaur fierce, let me see you being fierce. <sighs> dinosaur meek, so really shy, timid dinosaur. Dinosaur meek. <sighs> there he is, our little shy dinosaur hiding at the bottom. Dinosaur fast, pump your arms if you're stood up, you can run on the spot really, really fast. Dinosaur slow. So if you're on the spot, you could move really slowly. He's got our fast dinosaur and our slow one. And he does look slow, doesn't he? He's very big. And he hasn't got very long legs, has he? He's got very short legs. And three big horns on his head. And they do look very heavy, those horns. Dinosaur above, dinosaur below. Look at that dinosaur. We actually couldn't find him today when we were reading. I had to really look. He's hidden underneath. And somebody today spotted that this dinosaur was the colour of Earth, which we thought was a super spot. Dinosaur weak. Oh, he's all weak. Dinosaur strong. This dinosaur is super weak and this one's strong. He can hold up big rocks with his feet. So dinosaur strong and dinosaur weak. Dinosaur, di dinosaur, dinosaur short. So these are teeny tiny dinosaurs. Dinosaur short or very, very long. How wide can you stretch your arms? You can't even see mine, I'm stretching them that wide. <laughs> Look how long that dinosaur is. Wow, I have to move the book back to fit it all in the page. These ones look like they could be the babies for this big dinosaur, couldn't they? Dinosaur fat. Puff out your cheeks, make yourself look really fat. Dinosaur tiny, make yourself really tiny. If you're at home, you could curl up really small in a ball like we do in PE. Dinosaur tiny, can you spot the tiny dinosaur? Look how tiny he is compared to that stone. And look at the size of this one. Can you see what he's got in his hand? A tree trunk, a big tree, which really shows us just how big he is, or she. Dinosaur clean, dinosaur slimy. Oh my goodness, I think I know which dinosaur I'd like to be there. I would definitely like to be this clean one. Can you see on its head as well? Got another dinosaur. Oh, is that a frog? Oh, it's a frog living in the slime. <laughs> and it's because he's so slimy and dirty. He's even got grass growing on him. He's that dirty. Dinosaur sweet, let me see your sweet face. 
Lovely sweet smile. <laughs> Dinosaur grumpy. Let's see your grumpy face. Oh, he does look grumpy. I can see his eyebrows are turned down. And then we've got Dinosaur Sweet. <laughs> dinosaur Spiky. Can you make your fingers spiky? And Dinosaur Lumpy. We struggle today with this one to try and make our body into lumpy, having lumpy skin. We can see the big spikes on this one and the lumpy skin on this one. All sorts of dinosaurs eating up their lunch. So can we see what lunch? Oh my goodness, what are those dinosaurs wanting to get for their lunch? <gasps> that bird. And then where are we? Oh, this dinosaur here looks like he's going to have some berries. And this dinosaur here has got a leaf, which means he will be a herbivore, won't he, if he's eating all the plants. Gobble, gobble, munch, gobble, gobble, nibble, nibble, munch, munch, scrunch. And this one down here is actually eating the words on the page. He's already eating my exclamation mark and my sound. We're all having a good old munch, aren't they? They look like a hungry bunch of dinosaurs, don't they? Oh, wow, look at that one having a big bone. Definitely a carnivore, isn't he? And that's the end of our story today. I hope you enjoyed that, everybody. Now, tomorrow is Wednesday, so there won't be a live story tomorrow, but we will have one on Thursday, and then I've got two for you on Friday as a treat. So have a lovely evening, everybody, and I will see you soon. See you later.